Hi, this is Justin Ball at the Showerhead Store. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your old American Standard trim with a new shiny one. So you can see this one is old, ugly, just worn out. I don't know too much about American Standard, so what I did is I removed the handle. I mean, it says right on the handle American Standard, so I do that one first. Removed the handle, took some pictures, reached out to American Standard customer support, sent them the pictures, and I said, which valve is this and which trims are compatible? They said it's the R110 valve, and all of their single handle trims should work with this. Just discard the cartridge that comes in the kit. Uh, so I found a couple of options on Amazon. I'll share those in the link below. While you're down there, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, and I actually, I sent them back. I sent them back the links and I said, can you just confirm these two trims will work with my shower valve? And they said, yes. So I went ahead and bought them. I already installed one in my other bathroom. Looks great, took only a few minutes. And I'll show you how to do that here. So kind of, you know, moral of the story here is always confirm with the manufacturer if you're not 100% sure on which valve you have, because like Moen and Delta, they all have different valves, right? It's not all one size fits all. For American Standard, it seems to be so for these single handles, but you just don't want to waste your time getting a trim that doesn't fit, all right? So, here we go. I'm gonna pop pop this handle off, this cap off, and then take this screw out. Slide that off. And then we're over to a I'm just gonna take the discussion screws out. go so you can see valve in the wall it's a lot of cement and plaster on that so opening up the box here got your instructions you have a couple of uh, oh, this is a this is a little bit of a different design than the last one I installed You have your escutcheon plate. This is metal, this is plastic. Actually, I like the other one better that I got, to be honest. There's the handle, nice heavy duty handle. This is the cartridge. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use that. This is the little, uh, it seems to be metal, it's very light. And then, Hardware. Okay. So we got a couple of a couple of screws here. So if this is anything like the other one I just installed. I'm just gonna slide that tube right over. There's multiple different screw positions you can see here. 
get this lined up. I have my screw positions just diagonally across. first. tight. Then, let's see here. These are actually, these just snap right in. that in there then all you have to do is you have this uh, brass fitting here that's the little adapter for the handle Just tighten that down in there is just getting oops getting the set screw tightened onto that adapter so that the handle can't pull off. Last step is just getting the handle uh, tightened down on. There's a little set screw in here, so just want to line this up straight. Make sure that's all the way as far in as it can go. That way, when you tighten this down. be able to pull off. There you go. There you have it. Brand new setup. 
all metal handle and plate. Yeah, this little decorative piece is plastic, but overall really simple installation. Looks much better than this. And didn't cost me all that much. No plumbing needed. Can leave the water on and all. So there you have it. Uh, way nicer shower trim. Big upgrade from this old nasty thing. Only took a few minutes to get it installed and makes your shower just look that much better. So that's it for now. I'm Justin Ball, the shower head guy, signing out for now.